we the jury find the defendant, Kyle A. Ritt Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? Kyle Rittenhouse turns his back on Trump and MAGA supporters, and let's just say the backlash wasn't pretty. In this video, we're gonna break it all down. Welcome to the Devore Darkens show. I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can get this out to more people just like you and me. Kyle Rittenhouse, right? This is a guy who was involved in a shooting where he did kill somebody in self-defense. And uh, obviously his case went viral. Uh, everybody was following this case. And then he became one of the big names in conservatism and in the MAGA movement. So, of course, you wake up this morning and you hear that he no longer wants to vote for Trump. He wants to vote for Ron Paul. Now, who is Ron Paul? I, I don't even know who Ron Paul is. I thought he was talking about Rand Paul. That's how much I didn't even know what the heck was going on. But anyways, this video is all about the backlash he ended up receiving and some things that we really need to discuss as people who are conservative or you are a big MAGA supporter or a Trump supporter, how we need to handle these things. Um, and so before I go any further, what I'm going to do is take you back to the beginning and how we actually got here. Let's play that first clip. And I'm here with a bunch of militia. Um, they're protecting a local car shop. By the third night of unrest in Kenosha 2020, after businesses were burned, there was a call to arms online. They're not being paid to be here, but they are doing it in service to the owner. We got militia on the roof here. Kyle Rittenhouse is among the armed group in this video obtained by 12 News. The 17-year-old from Illinois, who once worked as a lifeguard in Pleasant Prairie, came with his AR-15. You can hear what he said that night in this video, edited and released by his defense team. Our job is to protect this business, and part of my job is also help people. If there's somebody hurt, I'm running into harm's way. That's why I have my rifle, because I need to protect myself, obviously. Video also shows officers thanking the armed civilians and handing out the water. We appreciate you guys, we really do. Then things escalated. Ammonia, gasoline, leaked together, is causing an ammonia. And what does that do? It caused irritation to the throat and eyes. Rittenhouse would then use his assault rifle on three protesters, he claims, in self-defense. First, Joseph Rosenbaum, which is shown in the defense team video. Four shots and Rosenbaum, who the DA says was unarmed, was killed. The next video shows Rittenhouse running down Sheridan Road. He falls. One man jumps on him. Rittenhouse fires and misses. Anthony Huber comes in with his skateboard, tries to grab the gun, and Rittenhouse shoots. Killing Huber. Gage Grosskreutz approaches, holding a handgun. At close range, Rittenhouse shoots Grosskreutz in the arm. Rittenhouse gets up and walks toward police. Hey, he just shot them! Hey, dude right here just shot them! Dude right here just shot all them down there! Rittenhouse puts his hands up. Someone injured straight ahead. Police drive past him. Rittenhouse went home to Illinois and turned himself in the next day. Okay, so that is who Kyle Rittenhouse is, right? He was involved in a shooting in self-defense. He was ultimately found not guilty and acquitted of all charges. Uh, there was actually a total of five counts. And uh, it was during these protests. Oh, actually, let me correct that. Riots were businesses and people were injured and the city was literally burning down. But hey, nobody really went to prison over that. That's a whole nother thing, right? Anyways, I digress. Uh, that's who he is. And so this leads us to this major point before we move forward. Uh, during the trial, he obviously ran out of money. He didn't have any money. So they had to start a GoFundMe account. And then the word on the street is that a particular uh, gun organization started to fund his legal bills. And the person actually behind that is this gentleman. Okay, so the guy's name is Dudley Brown. And he is a person who is the leader of the National Gun Rights. And um, he's a gun lobbyist. Um, he calls himself a real conservative. And he absolutely hates President Trump, by the way. So that's very key to this entire story. Um, and so apparently... Um, he was part of the uh, support in paying for uh, Kyle Rittenhouse legal bills. 
And he's been very critical of President Trump for a very long time in regards to the um, Second Amendment. And so this brings us to this whole story where yesterday um, he actually posted this on behalf of Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse didn't even post this on his own account. This guy posted it on his account. And this is what that video says. Let's take a listen. Unfortunately, Donald Trump had bad advisors making him bad on the Second Amendment. And that is my issue. If you cannot be completely uncompromisable on the Second Amendment, I will not vote for you. And I will write somebody else in. We need champions for the Second Amendment or our rights will be eaten away and eroded each day. I support my decision and I have no take backs. OK, so you guys seen that, right? And then. Uh, Dudley Brown, he posts this uh, photo with all the indictments against President Trump when it comes to the Second Amendment. Um, he says that Trump is responsible for the banning of uh, bump stocks. And um, you guys could actually go read this for yourself. I'm not going to go point by point on this. Um, anyways, there's that. And this uh, he puts a little quote at the end. Take the guns first. Go through due process. Second, President Donald Trump. February 28th, 2018. Okay, there you go. So there's that. And there's actually one point I want to make. I live in California. The rest of the country has no idea. What they have no idea. If you want to talk about gun rights, Second Amendment being infringed upon, come live in California. You have no idea. You live in Texas. You live in Florida. You live in all these other states and you're over there crying. You have no idea what Gavin Newsom's is doing to us over here with the Second Amendment. It's it's absolutely insane, okay? I'll give you one example, right? And then we'll move on, okay? One example is this. You can only buy one firearm every 30 days. Just one. Can't buy two, three, four, five, six. One. That's it. One shotgun. One pistol. One AR. That's it. You cannot buy more than one firearm in a 30-day period. That's California for you. So they put this up uh, earlier. And then let's back up. If we go two hours before this, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse um, posts, there aren't many people in this world that I get excited to meet, but meeting Ron Paul was an incredible pleasure. And then he follows him and says, still writing in Ron Paul. So everybody obviously started to be like, okay, what the hell was going on? What's going on? And uh, this got 1.8 million views up to this point. Um, and then someone put, it'll be interesting to see how many followers you lose tomorrow. And if people just start losing their stuff, right? It, it's, it's really funny. Like, a lot of people who are MAGA or conservatives start, you know, getting all triggered over this. I find it funny. And we're going to get into that point later in this video. But this is what, what he puts, you know. And then what happens? This is the funny part. What happens? Well, so then Dom Lucre, amazing guy. You have to follow him. He's on YouTube and on the X platform. Make sure you follow him. Shout out to my dude. Uh, anyways, uh, so he puts up a entire story around this. Um, where he was saying that, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse was working with that gun lobby, like I told you, uh, Dudley Brown, and uh, they had paid for his legal bills, et cetera, et cetera. And he even put up an actual ad that Kyle Rittenhouse did on behalf of that organization. And uh, let's take a listen. Hi, I'm Kyle Rittenhouse, Outreach Director for Texas Gun Rights, and I would like to invite you to our first annual clay shoot on September 12th in Fort Worth, Texas, come out here and shoot clays with me and a bunch of other VI. So yeah, they posted that showing that he did have an actual connection with this guy um, and what he has been up to lately. And then it brings us to this post uh, where Amari King says, okay, I've texted Kyle and I'm hoping he gets back to me. Uh, Kyle is being swayed by a retard in Colorado named Dudley Brown. I've uh, had many conversations with Kyle. He's a great kid, and he's also very impressionable, much more impressionable than your average 21-year-old. Um, and, you know, he ends the thing by just saying, let me scroll up here. Let's save Kyle, not crucify him. Remember that because I'm about to get into that point. You all have no idea how impressionable he is. Trust me. Right. And so that was about, uh, what, eight hours ago. So that was this morning of this video here. And then uh, three hours before me shooting this video, Kyle Rittenhouse says this. Over the past 12 hours, I've had series of productive conversations with members of the Trump team, uh, and I am confident he will be strong ally gun owners need to defend our Second Amendment rights. My com comments made last night were ill-informed 
and unproductive. I'm 100% behind Donald Trump and encourage every gun owner to join me in helping send him back to the White House. 5.5 million views as of right now. Um, and then there are some people that are congratulating him on, you know, hey, you know, you messed up. Good job. Thanks for being a bigger man. Thanks for taking responsibility. Then there are other people saying, man, you didn't even last 12 hours like this guy. And so this brings me to what I really want to talk about in this video. And I want to direct this to every single person who identifies as a conservative, a MAGA supporter, a President Trump supporter. This message is definitely tailored to you. OK, you cannot have it both ways. You cannot bitch about Trump derangement syndrome and then lose all common sense when someone does not want to support Trump. I don't give a damn if someone doesn't want to vote for President Trump. Good for you. Salutes. You know why? Because we need to be focusing on policies. We need to be focused on getting results. That's where our energy should be. Not on some freaking 21 year old who doesn't want to vote for Donald Trump. I could care less. He's not going to be the reason why President Trump wins or loses this election. Right. And this is why this is the problem just on social media. Right. People get emotionally triggered almost over everything and they it's like they they lose all common sense so you know nobody is perfect people who support president trump including myself i am not perfect president trump is not perfect you are not perfect and people definitely on the left and those crazy progressives they're not perfect either and so let's not act like kids let's act like adults let's act like people who are serious about winning this election and really focusing on on the issues that matter. And while everybody else was so caught up in this Kyle Rittenhouse story, you know what they were not talking about? They weren't talking about the successful coup that went down in the Democratic Party where now Kamala Harris is officially the Democratic nominee. That happened today, but I don't see any stories talking about it. Why is that? Because everybody was so distracted with what some 21-year-old decided to put on the internet last night. And what he put up there is not a matter of life and death. What he put up there wasn't going to swing votes. I, I find it funny how we, we get blinded by stuff that really doesn't matter. And so as I wrap up this video today, I just want to say this. We need to continue to push policy over personality. We need to continue to push common sense over the woke mind virus, right? We need to be pushing safety over inclusion. We need to be pushing security over wide open borders. That's what we should be focusing on. Not what some 21 year old decided to do. I could care less about him. I don't know him. I've never met him. Don't really care to meet him. I'm focused on policy. I'm focused on getting this message out there. That's what I really care about. And so this brings it to the final point as I end this video, the one weakness that the Republicans have had since almost forever now is we are so terrible with messaging. We are terrible when it comes to marketing and branding, and we are terrible when it comes to having a unified message as crazy and woke and how evil the Democrat party is. That's exactly what their strengths are. They always have a unifying message. They're always on the same page. They're great with marketing and branding. That's what they're all about. That's why they've been successful in the midterms and we have totally flopped. And so be very careful. What are you spending your energy on talking about? Let's talk about the real issues here. Let's play the same game here. Let's not get left in the dust like the Republicans have been getting left in the dust over the past four years. And of course, they have their propaganda machine, all of these other news channels, which means it is on you and it's on me to keep pushing the right message. Let's not just lay down and just let them continue to go with this. Stand up and say the right things. But hey, that's my mindset. What is yours? What do you guys think about this whole Kyle Rittenhouse story? What do you think is more important, what he did and what he said or what's going on at the southern border? Right. I want to hear what your thoughts are and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.